in this video uh, we are starting the radius of curvature and the radius of curvature is <coughs> actually uh, the instantaneous radius of any curved path now we know that the radius is defined for a circle but a circle has a constant radius uh, at all the points on its periphery but any curved path which is not a circle uh, does not necessary, uh, necessarily uh, have uh, the constant radius at all the points. So actually the radius of curvature is uh, the radius of that circle which just gets fitted into the curved path at some point uh, which is shown. Let's <coughs> this is uh, point A and if we need to find out the radius of curvature of uh, the curved path at point A we can imagine a circle of radius R A which gets just fitted into this curved path at point A. So the radius of this circle will be the radius of curvature of this curved path at point A. Now similarly at uh, this point B if we draw an imaginary circle which just uh, which just fits uh, into this curved path at point B then the radius of this imaginary circle will be the radius of curvature uh, of this curved path at this point B. So actually uh, the radius of curvature is uh, the instantaneous radius of any curved path or uh, the radius uh, is the uh, rad radius of curvature of a circle. So this is the basic difference between these two. Now, uh, if we uh, try to establish a relationship between radius of curvature and uh, <coughs> uh, the acceleration or uh, and velocity, then we can say that uh, if we compare any um, motion with a circular motion, which is motion on a curved path, then in that case uh, there is a acceleration which is always directed towards the center of the circle. This acceleration is actually perpendicular to the velocity and uh, it is also called as centripetal acceleration. So this acceleration is equal to uh, v square upon r where v is the uh, instantaneous speed of the particle at that point and r is the radius. So uh, this <coughs> radius of curvature which is uh, this one it can be written as v square by a perpendicular. So in any uh, curved path also uh, if this particle is not moving in a circle, in fact it is moving in a curved path like that, <coughs> then also there will be a instantaneous acceleration which is uh, always directed to the perpendicular direction of the velocity. If the velocity is like that, then the acceleration will be perpendicular to the velocity. And this acceleration is called as the uh, centripetal acceleration also. So if you are thinking that uh, centripetal acceleration only uh, is it is only valid for circular motion then you are wrong because in any curved motion uh, circular uh, centripetal acceleration is also acting towards the instantaneous center of that curve because circular motion is also uh, uh, instantaneously curved motion so <coughs> we can compare it with circular motion. Now this is the uh, basic uh, formula of this radius of curvature and this is the basic definition of uh, the radius of curvature. In the next video we will uh, start, we will in fact discuss the general formula for calculating the radius of curvature. Thank you. In this video uh, you will be uh, getting a very rare concept which is uh, very rare on the internet and uh, this uh, concept is the derivation of the general equation of uh, general formula for the radius of curvature. Now uh, if uh, let's suppose uh, we are given a path which is a function of x. Let's suppose it is given that y is a function of x and this is the path on which a particle is uh, moving. So let's suppose this path looks like that. So at any point uh, we have to find out the radius of curvature. Let's suppose this point is A and we have to find out RA, radius of curvature at A. This is the question. 
So I am deriving, I am establishing a general formula which is very helpful in the questions and you need not to apply the conventional method. Now, now uh, let's suppose that <coughs> we draw a tangent at this point on the curve and this is the tangent. Now, <coughs> the angle made by this tangent with the x-axis is theta, let's suppose. And a small displacement on this tangent is This is a small displacement ds and this is dy the displacement in y axis and this is d in fact this is dx and this is dy okay so if we are supposing that this particle is rotating in a circle which is in a curved path in fact whose radius is r and this angle is theta in fact let us suppose that this angle is d theta small angle and let us suppose that this angle is alpha so so uh, we can say that r d theta is equal to ds which is the general formula that theta into radius is equal to arc <coughs> and this ds is also equal to under root of dx square plus dy square by Pythagoras theorem and we can write that ds is equal to uh, root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square into dx. Now ds by dx is equal to under root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square. Let us suppose that this is the equation number 1. Now uh, we know that ds by d theta is also equal to r this is the equation number 2 this is being derived from this one ok now <coughs> now uh, we know that slope slope which is dy by dx is equal to tan theta and d by dx of tan theta is equal to d square y by dx square. In this step, I have differentiated this equation with respect to x. So by applying the chain rule, uh, because this uh, theta is variable, so I will be getting sec square theta into d theta by dx is equal to d square y by dx square and <coughs> the value uh, of sec, theta, sec square theta can be written as 1 plus tan square theta into d theta by dx is equal to d square y by dx square. Now uh, this tan theta is again equal to dy by dx so this is 1 plus dy by dx whole square into d theta by dx and this is equal to d square y by <coughs> dx square. Now this d theta by dx is equal to d square y by <coughs> dx square into 1 upon 1 plus dy by dx whole square. And uh, therefore, uh, if I need to find out ds by d theta, 
this is the equation number third. So if uh, I divide, <coughs> I need to find out this ds by d theta. So uh, this is ds by dx and this is uh, d theta by dx. So if I divide equation number one divided by two, so it would be ds by d theta, which would be equal to <coughs> 1 plus dy by dx whole square to the power 3 by 2 into <coughs> 1 upon d square y by dx square and this ds by d theta is equal to the radius so finally the radius of curvature uh, of uh, at point a to this graph will be equal to <coughs> 1 plus dy by dx whole square to the power 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square. This is the required formula for the radius of curvature uh, at a point, at a, some general point uh, on this uh, curve which is given by y is equal to f of x. So you can uh, use this formula directly uh, in any question and we will be solving the questions by using this formula. Thank you.